Hello everyone and now welcome to game 2 in the series JN the blue human player does have a 1 to 0 lead. Welcome this is Warcraft Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching me um just religiously week after week. Somehow some of my Warcraft 3 games get like 150,000 views. I'm like, "Yeah, sweet." And then some of them get like 2,000. I'm like, "Hmm, what am I doing wrong?" And all I can really say is, if this is one of the 150,000, please subscribe. Um, definitely need a lot more viewers out there keeping Warcraft 3 alive. And there are still some very good tournaments. Zotac Cup, Z Cup, as I am currently casting, is one of those tournaments. And I know that I, at one point I was invited to actually cast these tournaments live and then stream them. Unfortunately for me, though, um, I do have a life beyond um, gaming, and right now I am casting when I do have spare time. Aria is away, wife is away, and that's what when I try to do it, and then I do become a family man in about 40 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this game so far. Archmage most likely going to be trained up by both sides once again. Just because of the ease it is for the Archmage to level up. That Water Elemental, very successful at both dealing damage and mitigating damage um, as it absorbs damage. Unlike, say, the Paladin who is only able to heal and keep units alive. You really want to keep that Holy Light alive or uh, Holy Light effective on your heroes anyways and not just your early, early footmen. All right, let's take a look at it. Archmage going to be popping out. Both sides pretty much opening up with very, very similar strategies and going to be um, constructing or erecting um, some arcane towers as well to make sure to, you know, not take that much pressure. Reprisal going to be going after this 5-3-3 creep camp here. And now as soon as the militia attacked the renegade wizard, you can see that the water elemental was dropped, trying to prevent any sort of um, purge onto that water elemental. The water elemental just tanking a lot of that damage. But what is this? We see a militia creeping in an absolutely different direction here. Instead, going after the Sasquatch and the shop. This is a much, much harder harder location to creep out and you can see that JN does have a water elemental here and we are seeing going into a sentry ward so nicely done there one sentry ward and now both water elementals mitigating about 200 or a thousand points of damage almost as we are now at level two and I'm not quite sure what tome that was but the items weren't really that useful so I'm I'm not quite sure why reprisal um act, or sorry why JN actually did that as the as it is not altogether that effective. We're going to see the Archmage now perhaps come down here. There is a footman down over here. And this could be a stealing of creeps. If he's able to actually take down all of this, pick, pick up the Cloak of Shadows, and finish off this Troll Trapper here, he will have the other entire southern side of the map. Archmage now making its way off to the north, and he may be able to come in with a very, very effective Creepjack. Oh my goodness, Malip Peasants getting taken down, Footman getting taken down, and that is going to be a very nice swing, even though Reprisal has more experience at this point. JN has taken down two units of Reprisal, and uh, affecting a loss. All right, the Rock Golem. Now getting some easy shots. Oh, there is a Cloak of Shadows now being used. And who's going to get the kill? Oh, it is Reprisal. Who got the item? Wand of Mana stealing a beautiful item steal by JN. And I have never um, seen such a good use. Oh, no. JN down to 17 hit points. And Reprisal saying, you know what? You steal my items. D do you know what he does to shoplifters? He kills them. All right. Reprisal going after some footmen. Now down go <laughs> all of those. Um, all of those footmen, the footmen now in desperate, desperate retreat. And where are they going to be going? There is a very low hit point troll trapper added there as well. So even more easy experience for Reprisal, getting the early Archmage kill and also getting some, um, yeah, just getting that early Archmage kill. Let's see what's going to be purchased. Most likely a boot of speed. Don't make me a liar. I guess boots saying most likely won't make me a liar if that is not the case, as I said, most likely. Archmage now halfway up to level four. And what is going to be done at this time? Archmage is up halfway to halfway of being resurrected. 
but is yes reprisal may be gutsy here ring of protection plus two militia was trying to creep out um, down over here and now the tome of agility and a ring of protection very nice items as reprisal is going to return the favor in stealing some um stealing some experience from the creeps so this green creep camp and this orange creep camp both of them are going to be taken down here down it goes cloak of shadows now going to be picked up by reprisal so reprisal is pretty much full on items and what is going to be happening next archmage is now out and about sitting at level two not quite yet at level three footmen are now rushing their way in but they are may have pushed in a little bit too far too quickly and let's hope that reprisal doesn't do anything sneaky with that cloak of shadows as we have sentry wards for jn jn now still battling it up here footmen doing a little bit of a dance trying to get away oh very low hit point hit point footmen down to 13 hit points down to two it finally does get taken out as reprisal is now pretty much one kill no excuse me one experience point away from level four all right the footmen need to get away down to 43 hit points and, and you know what all you have to be is faster than uh, the other footmen there as they will slow down you know blood brothers there making sure you know what? i'll take a sword in the back for you man as we're still seeing the archmage still chasing around all right so this one footman going to be able to retreat all the way back there is one footman here by jn making sure that no expansion is being taken down keep is being upgraded on both sides jn a little bit behind most likely because of the resurrection as we're seeing now level four on reprisal as level four on reprisals hero here but this the problem is any items that are dropped um, are, are going to be a major major issue since since he doesn't have room is he gonna actually try to go for anything really interesting here it looks like the troll trapper will get taken down there is another boulder to the head reprisal not in a good situation at all as we're gonna see perhaps yes it does go down scroll of the beast dropping an item or yeah dropping that uh, cloak of shadows off and now gonna be making his way off to the north i am not gonna pick up the phone what are you guys doing calling me in the middle of a cast anyways? All right, Reprisal is now making its way off to the north. Archmage sitting at level 4. Both of them sitting at level 4. Level 3 Archmage. Oh, sorry, not both of them. JN sitting at level 3. Getting closer to level 4 as we're going to see a creeping of this particular mercenary camp. Renegade Wizard, but with enforcers and bandits who never sleep at night, causing them to engage the creep. Um, prematurely renegade wizard is getting surrounded it will end up get, getting surrounded there belt of giant strength a very nice item if you do decide to train up a mountain king or pick up a, a panda as that is a very very common hero at least in this matchup mountain king already out by reprisal are we going to see an item transferred yes boots of speed transferred to the mountain king able to run up and catch up any fleeing heroes that and with a storm bolt tome of knowledge has been left behind archmage is seen at level four now and with level four belt of giant strength wand of mana stealing and wait jn got the item all right yeah yeah J jn got the item and yeah the shoplifting all right here we go once more we're gonna see that the mountain king is trying to put in pressure take down that arcane vault and with that no more free heal or 100 um, gold healing for all of the footmen and that could really hurt as we are seeing priests now joining on from the north. It is a double sanctum build, I believe. Um, one sanctum, two sanctums. Yes, two arcane sanctums are up and operational. The Mountain King still seen at level one as the footman being a good boy or being good boys attempting to take down a farm while getting hit from an arcane tower above. Archmage now making its way over. Will they be able to catch up to any of those water elementals or any of those units? It doesn't look like it. We could see some disenchant as a troll berserker. Long distance Stormbolt. Scroll a town portal. He realizes he's not going to be able to finish it off. And oh, the unit now backing away once more. Mountain King is out for JN. JN may be um, transferring a belt of giant strength over. Nope, not going to be doing that as we're seeing an engagement uh, about to go down. There's the Stormbolt once again. Focusing on the Troll Berserker, it finally gets taken down here as both sides are still fighting it up. And it looks as though, well, a lot of damage being dealt there. Another Stormbolt coming in as the Mountain King trying to engage. And both sides doing a lot of damage to each other. This is pretty unorganized of a fight. No definitive line as we now see a Footman coming in around the back. So this is more of a swarm. And JN really utilizing the fact that he has this um this advantage with militia one very low hit point mountain king down to 18 hit points 
is going to be able to barely escape there as the militia are still trying to chase. Not going to work out, but there are still a lot of water elementals. But the problem is going to be that JN does not have... Um, JN does not have his own, what's it called? Oh, a beautiful Goblin Zeppelin micro pickup there. And nicely done by JN to keep his hero alive. Priests are still being added. And this Mountain King needs to pop out here. Once again, we're going to see a lot of low hit point water elementals. Three of water elementals are out. One of them just dying to that time life. JN being overzealous with this Mountain King could be in trouble. Archmage getting off some shots here. And the Mountain King is now back up to 164 hit points. Spellbreakers could easily get some arcane feedback. And now the Mountain King down to 59 hit points has to be very, very careful as we're seeing a beautiful counter push coming in from JN. And as I say this, I forget who has, who has the lead in this series. All right, I would ask if I was an observer watching this comment, this game live, but I am not. I believe JN is actually up 1-0. Hopefully I'm not wrong as the Spellbreakers are still battling it up here. Mountain King trying to come in for another engagement. Militia getting taken down once more. And why are they pinging here? I don't know. Oh, three very uh, three hit, uh, footmen. Some of them still good on hit points. And that may be the problem of JN. JN not realizing that he has units off to the north. Militia are now back in the peasant form for reprisal. But oh, a beautiful Goblin Zeppelin Micro coming back in. And what can happen? Mountain King getting storm bolted here. Both sides with their level 1 Mountain Kings absorbing and exchanging blows rather quickly. There's some um, mass dispel magic. It almost looked like the detonation animation until you realize there is no Night Elf. As a whole bunch of peasants are just there to um, do a little bit of path blocking. Mountain King sitting at 361 hit points. Low hit point water elementals. How much damage? No, another detonation or sorry, another dispel magic coming in as the Mountain King of JN getting even stronger. JN now with a definitive advantage still sitting at 47 over 48 compared to 47 over 60. Where are all of these peasants going to go? They're going to go back home as the Mountain King tries and creeps out another level three. All right, reprisal. Where are they? Where is this army looking to go? Level two on that Mountain King. Level five on that Archmage. JN is slightly ahead um, in the Mountain King front, but a little bit behind in the Archmage front. Actually, by a full level there, meaning that no level three water elementals. But then again, that won't really make much of a difference as they both have the same uh, brilliance aura. Mountain King making their way back over. Is it going to be able to get off a storm boat on that footman? No, that footman decides not to. Um, how many footmen were actually taken down in that fight? I know one of them were low on hit points. So perhaps one footman, as it was getting transferred back to the no from the north here, perhaps it could have been sniped down. Archmage still sitting at level 4. Mountain King sitting at level 2. And here we go. Mountain King... 433 creep camp if that archmage backs away will get to level three i believe nope it looks like the archmage is going to get to level five instead um actually is it going to be a little bit shy it might actually be a little bit shy nine experience shy maybe nope um two experience over all right off by 11 or 12 depending on how you do your math anyways spellbreakers looking to push in and take down this farm altar of kings spellbreakers mountain kings and now all of those range units are just um, attacking at that far. Mountain King doesn't want to get too close as in comes the army of JN. Level 5 versus level 5. Level 2 versus level 2. Mountain King almost at level 3. And where is that engagement? The Mountain King is pretty much almost at full mana. And gets a bash in on the reprisal as we might get to level 3 here. Yes, JN gets the level 3 and that may be the swing that he needs. Level 2 Stormbolt dealing 250 damage. But does he have boots of speed? No, he doesn't. So he's unable to really chase any of these priests who are just easy pickings for a very fast moving Mountain King. Archmage now still trying to back away. Is that Mountain King getting close enough? Oh, there is going to be one uh, one priest kind of caught in transit. One, um, oh no, one priest going to get taken down there. Yes, another priest could get taken down here. Archmage now trying to run away from all of these spellbreakers. And oh, gets storm bolted once again. So JN now in trouble as Militia coming in from pretty much out of nowhere. And there is no definitive line once more. One low hit point priest now finally picked off by a water elementals, I guess water pick. As we are both sides are fighting, JN now might lose this level 3 Mountain King. Yes, he does. So the level 3 Mountain King goes down. 
And that advantage quickly swings in favor as Reprisal now in the lead. Still level 5 and level 2, not quite level 3 on that Mountain King, even though the Mountain King of JN did fall here, giving in a little bit more experience. As we may see JN lose this one Archmage. Archmage trying to get away. Mountain King hoping to get off a Stormbolt. And oh, just doesn't have oh does have the boots of speed why isn't he chasing the archmage archmage doesn't have boots of speed either one lower hit point water elemental and reprisal is gonna get the kill here wasting a storm bolt on a water elemental not quite sure what that is about as we're seeing the archmage now try to get away mountain king is gonna get a little bit closer and if that archmage does go down oh beautiful beautiful potion of lesser invulnerability just in time as the priest should be trying to heal up that archmage as quickly as possible potion of healing was picked up we see spellbreakers quickly going after here there is a reveal Nicely done, but no enough mana, and it is going to be another Goblin Zeppelin pickup by JN. So JN, Mass Detonations coming in once more. The reveal is still there. Archmage still trying to battle it up. Oh, Stormbolt. Is it going to get picked up? Is it going to get picked up? Is it? Yes. Oh my gosh. So low on hit points, but still somehow able to stay alive. And we are going to see all of these units now jump inside. Only the Archmage and the Water Elementals can attack the air. And there's not even that many of them at all. Archmage needs to drop back in. Archmage now going to get healed back up a little bit more. Mountain King Spellbreakers. This is a very dangerous spot to be fighting in. What is JN doing? Fighting in a, in a very precarious situation here. But making sure that that Goblin Zeppelin is very close by. The lower hit point spellbreakers are now being forced to back away. There are a lot of water elementals. Water elementals coming in but quickly going to get detonated. Or sorry, dispel magic down. As there was two water elementals compared to zero at this point. But level three now on that Mountain King. This Mountain King may be able to go after. No, no, does have enough mana. What's going on? JN is going to be in trouble there. As the Archmage may not be able to jump inside. No, able to pick it up once more and what is going on the mountain king oh a storm bolt but a potion of lesser invulnerability again reprisal now um turnabout is fair play as the mountain king comes out only to re um, hit nothing and another hit nothing there this is the game of dodging storm bolts folks whether it be through a zeppelin or a potion both are very effective as this water elemental now going to get taken down Footman, JN in a beautiful engagement here. And this is still going back and forth as this Archmage now sitting at level 6. So we once again have a level 6 Archmage on the field. Spellbreakers and just up in the front. Water Elementals trying to engage as well. Low hit point Spellbreaker. Oh, may get taken down. But this Mountain King is in a bit of trouble. It gonna get, it's going to get Storm Bolted. Reprisal now gets level 6 on his Archmage. Two mass teleporting armies. And no more of this. I teleport and you pretty much got to walk all the way back over. All right, Mountain King. And um, I think JN is starting to finally um, fall apart here. Doesn't have the hero. Archmage dropping in another water mental. Mountain King unable to get off a storm bolt. But the spellbreakers are coming in. And you know what? Goblin Zeppelin turnabout is fair play once more as the mountain king coming back around here and what is going to be going down that mountain king is low on mana no back up to 73 75 the spellbreakers could take care of that rather easily as in comes a bash onto a water elemental there water elemental trying to shoo away that goblin zeppelin the mountain king getting in a little bit of a of an interesting fight there spellbreakers still falling as both sides are still fighting. Mountain King does not get off a Storm Bolt in time. But then again, the Zeppelin would have just picked it up anyways. Archmage still engaging. Oh, Mountain King takes down one of those units here. And who is coming out on top? Level 4 now on the Mountain King. As Reprisal is low on hit points on that Mountain King. Down to 11, down to 13. It goes down. And JN says GG. Alright, so right after the Mountain King fell, he said GG. So... I think, I'm pretty sure JN killed Reprisal's Mountain King and then left the game. Alright, so we're tied up at one game apiece. Reprisal and JN, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Listening, That's been a lot of fun. Just to cast and watch so far. And yeah, we'll see what's going to be happening here. Um, stay tuned for Game 3.